Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat Gameplay, boys. It's been a little while since we've jumped into this game. This footage is from Gamescom. I've been sitting on this gameplay for a little while because today I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. Like one, showcase the crazy customization for this Porsche. We'll get back into that in a little bit. Two, I wanted to give my thoughts on the handling because I've seen a bunch of questions from a lot of you guys. So in the comments down below, feel free to ask me any questions about Need for Speed. If I don't know the answers, I will try to get those answers for you. So if you want to know anything about this game, put it in the comments down below and I will do my best to get that information for you guys. And third and finally, I wanted to do some more cop chasey stuff because I wanted to get away, not get away, and as well showcase the critical damage because that is really cool. We'll come back to that though. Let's work on this customization and then jump in to the exhaust tuning stuff. So we're working on this thing, the Porsche 911 GTS. It's rear wheel drive in the game. It's like a road and a and a race car sort of kind of. It was actually my favorite car to drive out of the four that we got in this Gamescom demo. We had the GTR, the AMG GT, this thing, and the Porsche, uh, C uh, the Porsche, the Corvette C7. This was probably my favorite handling car of the bunch, but you will see uh, when we get to the handling, I think there's still some work to be done. Anyways, of course, we've got to give it the good old fashioned need for speed heat wide body and then get on literally the biggest wing I think I've ever seen in my life. You might know like APR or like some of the other brands you sometimes see in need for speed. Those are pretty big wings. This wing is so big, you actually can't see over it when you're driving. As I later found out. Anyways, uh, I wanted to jump in as well and do some exhaust tuning and showcase that back to back. Uh, you'll notice some differences between the sounds when I'm playing with them. I jump between them so you can literally hear them back to front and see what the difference is. Take a little bit of a listen. For me personally, it's a little bit hard to hear the first one, but the three other ones, you can sort of make out what they do. You'll see one makes your car sound a little bit more raspy, one shoots a lot more flames, and one makes it sound a little bit more raw. <laughs> exhaust customization and need for speed heat it's pretty cool what you can do honestly when you're playing around with the things it's definitely a little subtle but you can definitely as well hear a difference like i said one shoots more flames one shoots less flames it's kind of easy to see depending on what you mess around with but if you know what you're looking for you can definitely spot a difference between them anyways like i was saying i love the customization on this porsche i think with this wide body on it it looks so damn good i hope some of the other cars have some similar customization by the way, in case you haven't seen, the full car list has officially been revealed for this game. If you'd like to check it out, I will link to it down below and you guys can check it out. There's some very cool stuff on that list that I really didn't expect to see. There's like some Ferraris on the list, which I've been told apparently have some customization available for them. We'll have to see. I don't know how true that is, but that would make me a very, very happy boy if we could finally have some Ferrari customization back. Those wide bodies from back in the day. Oh. Anyways, let's talk about the handling because that's sort of what I promised. So I've seen some people talking on the internet that, oh, is this the best handling ever for a car game? Blah, 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 blah. I, I don't think so. So you'll notice that I ran wide into that first corner. Into this corner, I'm, I'm sort of starting to get some assumptions as to what's going on. You can see me spin the camera around. I'm not trying to win the race, by the way. I'm doing science here. So what I realized is when you come into Need for Speed and you brake and you turn at the same time, your wheels lock which means they don't turn anymore, and it means that you can't actually turn your car and brake, which you're not supposed to do in a real-life race car, by the way. But you can sort of see what I mean. If you if you turn and you brake, your wheels stop turning, and it, and it affects the way you drive, which is kind of strange, because it's almost like you're playing this game with an ABS turned off. When you have ABS turned on, it basically means that you can brake and turn at the same time. Long story short. When you've got it turned off, like in this game, it means that you can't. However, it's kind of strange because this is a big rear wheel drive Porsche, right? With quite a bit of horsepower and we were just driving it on rainy roads. If you try driving this thing in rainy roads with this much horsepower with assist turned off, you're going to spin. 
However, that's not the case in Need for Speed Heat. It's kind of strange because you've got like this ABS turned off, but then you've got like traction control turned on. It's a little bit weird. I don't really know what's going on. By the way, I think this was a glitch. Uh, the game just spawned in like a thousand cops. And I don't really know what happened. I think that was a glitch, but I got busted. It didn't go very well. You can see the game just dropping frames. It's not enjoying this. I think it spawned in way more cops than it should have. Anyways, um, yeah, the, the handling's definitely a little bit weird. If you're used to Need for Speed games, you will definitely be familiar with it. Um, in terms of, like, other games, I wouldn't really say it's like anything else. It's just kind of like a Need for Speed game. It's definitely improved from Need for Speed Payback. You definitely have more control. However, I still feel like there's, there's some improvement that they could actually do. Anyways, I wanted to show off the critical damage thing in this game. Watch my damage bar in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And you'll see how badly I destroy this AMG. Yo, what is going on with these colors on this bridge? What is that? But yeah, this is when it looks very... Wait. Uh, I think I'm missing wheels. I can hear my tires doing funny noises. I think my tires might be popped. So if I try to... Damage critical? Yo, I've got no damage. That's why my screen's gone all funny. Look at the bottom right. Critical damage. No. What if I crash? I've not actually done this before. I don't know, but we're about to write off an AMG. Rhino incoming. Yo. Jesus. Okay, what happens if we blow up? I kind of want to find out, and part of me doesn't. Why is the app not in Australia? The Need for Speed app? I assume you mean? <gasps> no! Yo, we just lost a lot of money. So there you go. Fun fact. That's what happens if you have critical, critical damage and you physically get taken out by the cops. It, it counts that as busted. So, just a heads up, I know there were some questions about that, so that's why I wanted to show it off in today's video. But if you actually get wrecked by the cops, even if you crash into them, like I did there, it still counts you as busted. So just watch out if you got low damage in this game. Y you might take yourself out. Anyways, this race wasn't going super well. I was in last place and that cop just hit me. And he put me onto this, like, overpass here. And at this point, I was like, ah, well, I'm just going to try to get away. So that's what I did. I, I was halfway through the race. You can see I'm at 55%. I was just like, nah, I'm not going to race anymore. I'm good. So I just ditched. I just drove away from the race. So you can see at the top of the screen, we're on heat level 3, which is a pretty average heat level. It goes 1 to 5, by the way. Um, so this is, like, average cops. We've actually gotten away from them. You can see that there's none on our map right now. However, when the race actually ends, that's when things heat up quite a bit. So here's the thing. When the race ends, we go up to heat level 5, and then the cops in Need for Speed Heat literally hunt you down. If they spot you, they're gonna come for you. You can see what they did there. There was one on each end of the highway and one off one of the side roads, and they were hunting me down. Then they spotted me, and they come on after me. Event failed. There you go. And then this is when the cops get turned up. Heat level 5. And here we go. And now we've got to get away. The cops were throwing everything at me. They had rhinos. They had C8 Corvettes. You can actually see me slowing down. Because I wanted to take out the cop. We've got the Dodge Chargers. We've got rhinos, helicopters, roadblocks, spike strips. Everything. And that little damage critical clip. You might be able to hear it. But you can hear metal clanking around. That's actually my wheel driving along the ground because my tire was popped. It's pretty cool. You can also see in the bottom right, uh, there's an EMP thing that apparently, some of the cops have EMP, they can kill your car. Apparently that's an anti-EMP device. We obviously don't have it unlocked here. It's one of like the special perks you can get for your cars and stuff. However, in the full game, that will be a thing. Anyways, my method of getting away, I was like, I'm gonna run up this mountain road, see how fast we can go in a straight line, and see if we can get away that way. That rhino just absolutely ate knobs. We've got this cop behind us here, and a helicopter. You can hear him. I see this Corvette. I say, no way, you're coming after me, buddy. We actually drove onto his hood. Then I'm like, we need to take him down. There we go, he's down. And then over the radio, you can actually hear the helicopter cop say, well, he's going into like this special zone. I don't know what this special zone was, but I imagine it has to do something with the elevation. And just like that, we get away from the level 5 heat. Just like that. It is super cool. You can actually see on the map that there's more cops coming up the mountain for us. They're looking for us. Like I said, if they spot you, 
they're gonna come after you and they hunt you down like I was saying. They can come after you in just about every area of the map. So you've gotta be careful, even if you do like some funky strategies, like we saw in like, we had a private demo of this game shown to us. If you jump onto a roof of a mall, which you can do, fun fact, um, there's some billboards up there. Anyways, if you do that, the cops will physically come after you. They will jump up there as well, and they will try to take you down. They are ruthless. Anyways, I came all the way up here because I wanted to get to the safe house and actually see what happened uh, when we got to it. Because I realized that in all the videos I've posted, we haven't actually done that. Uh, this is actually one of the other cool things in Need for Speed Heat that I don't think a lot of people realize. There's no guardrails. Or there are guardrails, but not as many as in previous games. If you see something, you can probably drive to it, which is really, really cool. So if you see this big mountain, you could take the road up, or you could whip out... I think there's a Ford Raptor in the game. You could just drive all the way up. Why not, right? Anyways, you can just see me driving around this little secret warehouse. Uh, you might notice that it's a garage, and there's no actual way to get in that garage door. Don't ask me how you do that. But you enter the warehouse... Mission successful. Just like that. Well, there you go, boys. That was some more Need for Speed Heat gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon. With some more Need for Speed Heat gameplay. See you guys then. Bye!